Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for our, around October 9th. Okay, we know the timing is fluid, right? The time these readings are timeless. The daily vibes, all the readings are timeless anyway. But yeah, what you need to do is just take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's get started. So what I heard, this is my second daily. Okay, I already did one, but I'm not. It's, I'm thinking about downloading it. Um, what I heard before I did that one was somebody's gonna get hit. Now, that could mean so many different things. I mean, getting hit could mean a lot. So, it could, you know, keep that in mind. Little offers. Okay, getting hit could be a shock. You know, they could get a light bulb moment. You know, it could be a car accident. It could be punched in the head, <laughs> just being honest. It could be, you know, getting hit, a, a hit. You know what a hit is. Um, it could mean so many things, but they could, uh, be falling in love, even. They could be hit with some sort of feeling, okay? It could be a feeling of love, okay? Overwhelming, okay? This is where two people come together and there's some sort of magnetic pull. It's undeniable, okay? This is, um, kindred spirits, a perfect union, but there's always a choice with a lover's card, so somebody may have to make a choice. It's an unexpected choice in love, okay? So somebody is probably thinking about love, and I think they probably have to make a choice, perhaps between two different directions. And maybe, and maybe it is hit with feelings, you know? The star reverse. Why is this happening? Okay, I didn't ask for this. Why? You know? Why now? Why, 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 why? I did not ask for this connection. <laughs> the moon, the moon. So we could be dealing with a Gemini, a Pisces, or an Aquarius. Um, but this is a reality check. This is the truth. This is real feelings. Okay? These are real feelings. Undeniable. So anyhow, the moon reverse. This is a reality check. Truths are revealed. And this is a why, why, why is this happening right now? So something has been hidden. Maybe it's, I don't know. This is, this, this, this could be a reunion of some sort. Somebody makes a choice. I don't know. It's, it's, it feels like it comes out of nowhere. Um, this is feelings at the surface. They can't be hidden. It is. This is some sort of reality check. And it's also truth coming out. Now, this is the star reversed is. Oh, it could be illness. It could be depression. It could be depleted. Somebody may be feeling depleted. Um, I didn't ask for this to happen. You know what it is. Something is being revealed that was hidden. It does lead to harmony. Because this is harmony and healing. This is a healing love. It's a healing connection. It is a reunion. It's a reunion between two people that are absolutely meant to be together. That's what it is. Okay? Period. Whether you've met this person... In a previous lifetime, or what? There is the past here in both of these cards. So you may not, I mean, whatever this reunion is, I mean, it doesn't mean that. This could be somebody that you haven't met yet, is what I'm trying to say. But it doesn't have to be. This could be somebody from your past, okay? Um. Why? 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 Why can't I hide these feelings? That kind of thing. 
high priestess. Now the high priestess is very um, mysterious, very receptive, very knowing, um, very, very... Um, Oh, this is magnetic. Okay, this is the magnetic pull. The high priestess is all-knowing. She's very intimidating because she knows you can't hide anything from the high priestess. This is also deep feelings. And there could be some sort of telepathic communication going on here. There could. Somebody may be sensing that there's going to be a reunion or sensing that there's going to be... An event because the star comes after the tower so there's probably going to be an event there's going to be some sort of uh, shock okay shocking event um, that makes somebody see the truth of a situation but anyway this is reception telepathic reception it's also um a knowing an inner knowing this is part of the script as well she holds the script in her hand so this is all part of the script whatever is happening is definitely meant to be it's time it's time for some it's time it's time whatever that means it's time for this reconnection okay however that resonates with you now this could be somebody that you haven't met yet for all of you that are saying you know I'm not reconnecting with the past I hear you these are all majors okay we got four cards and four, all four of them are majors that means the universe this is the this is part of the script okay this is part of the higher plan this is meant to be this is all happening for a reason this is not in your control if we had minors it would be in your control, but we don't. This is out of your control. This connection is meant to happen, okay? It's destiny. This is like, this is like, I feel like it's a reunion. It's an alignment of some sort. It's all part of the script. It, it's time, whatever that means. I know I'm repeating myself, but I need to. Now, the high priestess is typically somebody that chooses to be alone, doesn't need anybody, very self-sufficient, very spiritual, very in touch with the divine. I didn't ask for anybody. Are you kidding me? That kind of thing. I mean, the high priestess does not, isn't looking, very, very comfortable with herself, okay? So we may, we have a person here that probably, because this is an unexpected choice in love, I'm not looking for anybody. Why? Why? And all of a sudden, because it is very sudden, it's right in front of your face. And it's so, uh, I don't know, it feels like uh, strong. The connection is so, so strong. Both people can feel it. There's a sexual connection here as well. There's a, it's, and this could lead to healing. It could, because the lover is a healing love. Somebody's going to be making an unexpected choice in love. And it's because they feel very, this is deep. Very deep. Very, very, very deep. So this is a deep connection. There's definitely, there could be a reunion here. Somebody's thinking. It's funny because I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. That's how I started this reading, didn't I? That's how I started. I said, I'm thinking, 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 thinking. Yeah, I'm sure I'm not the only one. Anyhow, um, I don't know how that happened. I really don't. Everything happens for a reason, but it's stupid. Anyhow, um, five of cups reversed. That is like a reunion. I think there's going to be a reunion, or there could be a reunion, but I don't know. High Priestess, is, she's, she's intimidating, can't hide nothing from the High Priestess, not one thing. So that is intimidating. That nobody, uh, the High Priestess typically chooses to stay alone because nobody can really, uh, you can't hide things from her. So, I mean, she's, 
she's very sexual and she's very uh, magnetic you know people are drawn to her but they're scared of her you know so she chooses to be alone people often you know would rather choose somebody that is weaker because uh, they can hide them choose their true selves you know they can hide uh, below the surface they can hide things from other people but they can't hide things from the high priestess so they typically will choose the uh, person that they can uh, pretend with you know what I'm saying it's hard to explain but the five of cups reversed is a possible reunion and um this is letting bygones be bygones. I think we have somebody here that has been in a deep depression. I feel like they've been getting ill. You know, they've been ill or sick or not feeling very good. They've been, maybe they're, they've been in a dark place. And now there's an opportunity to uh, choose another option because the first card out is the lovers, which is a choice. It is a choice. Um... Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Five of Cups reverse is forgiveness. I think we have somebody that has been grieving. They've been sad. They've been discontent. They've been hiding their true feelings. And now they're right here. I mean, they're feeling, their feet, it's deep. They're, they're, the feelings are like, oh, you know, it's overwhelming. They're overwhelmed with with emotion. That's what I feel like we have. I feel like you can't hide, can't hide the feelings. So I feel like the feelings are going to be all over the place, you know, because this connection is so strong. And that's that's like an angel bringing two people together that are meant to be. So I do feel like there's going to be a reunion um, with somebody that... You are probably with in a past life. feels like it's a past life connection. Okay? And I don't say this very often. Um, I also feel like there could there's a, there's a loss here with the Five of Cups. Or there has been a loss. That is grieving over a loss. That is a deep depression. Needing to accept. Needing to accept that, you know, something is over. So I think that that... Uh, that comes into play here as well. Uh, needing to let go and focus on the future. And maybe it's about letting go of the other choice. Because that lover's car is a choice. And it is when there's a choice, that means there's two. Right? So there is definitely a choice between two. King of Swords. Now this is about using your head, being logical. Um, now the King of Swords delivers challenging information this is somebody that is going to be delivering the truth uh this is a this is somebody that sits in a position of authority that is, it feels like this guy sits at a desk um this is a professional that is going to that has some sort of information it is very truthful information Magician reversed. Now the magician reversed is a master manipulator, a trickster, somebody that is violent. I know I'm changing the story, but it is what it is, right? We have somebody here that has is lacking resources. Their resources are dwindling. They're losing their power or they've lost their power. This is somebody that is very cunning, that may have a hidden agenda. <coughs> we have lies here. Somebody's been lying. They've been lying about their feelings. They, they were lying about their feelings. This is the truth. And the truth, there's secrets that there's some sort of truth that is coming out. There's going to be a conversation. Mm -hmm. 
that reveals something. It reveals something about a contract, reveals something about a union, okay? So there's going to be a conversation that reveals the truth about, I don't know if it's a reunion or a union or a partnership or a contract, but that's a card of consequences as well. So there's some sort of consequences in regards to the choice that is being made. There's the, the consequences involve a loss. They do, because you can't have both. Somebody may be taking action without thinking as well. We may have somebody, I know I'm changing the story now. This is, this, both of these cards is a mental imbalance in reverse. So we may have somebody here that has a mental imbalance. Could be even a, a social disorder like, uh, I don't know, psychopathic sociopath. I mean, I hate to say it, but you know, both of these cards reversed right next to each other. It's not pretty. Okay. We may have somebody that has some sort of personality disorder and they've been hiding it. They've been able to hide it very, very well. I feel like there's going to be a tower moment because of that star. The star comes after a tower. Somebody's been able to avoid uh, conflict. They've been able to avoid disruption. They've been avo able to avoid contact. They've been able to avoid uh, their feelings. They've been able to avoid the truth, but not anymore. They're about somebody's about to get a reality check. Okay, and there may be a professional. I don't know if it's a professional speaker or something like that, or it's a or it's a person in a position of authority. It could be this could be a police officer. It could be somebody in the military. It could be, uh, I don't know. Could even be a father. There could be some upcoming legal matters as well that are coming. All right, just so you know, um, we have a very wise individual here that has some sort of information. This person has sensed it. This person uses their intuition. This person uses their mind, um, uses facts. So there's some sort of facts that are going to be delivered. This person has seen it coming, has seen it coming intuitively. So this intuitive has uh, probably already, already knows that this is going to happen. Anyhow, um, there is a message that is coming. May have something to do with a Pisces. May have something to do with a, an Aquarius or a Gemini. We have Gemini a couple times. Um, could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Taurus and Pisces up here. Um, deep sadness as well. We have somebody here that has been in a deep sad situation. There's been some period of prolonged grief. They've been abusing their power and there's some sort of abuse here. Whether it's mental abuse or whatever it is, there is some sort of abuse. But there's lies as well. Some big, big, big lies. We have a, we have a master manipulator here. Pathological liar. Maybe mentally ill, okay, because I'm serious. We may have somebody here that is mentally ill that is, uh, there's consequences. There's consequences here. Now, this is a fall um, dropping, collapse, letting go, letting go of a burden, Somebody is carrying a heavy burden and they need to release it. They need to let it go. They may have something to prove. They may be trying to prove something. They need to let go of their... of the heavy weight. They need to let go of what they've been carrying. They have to choose to let go. They have to choose to... Uh, drop something. It feels like there's they, somebody, somebody needs to drop... A burden, you know, drop a grudge maybe that they've been holding on to. Forgiveness is needed, but they can't, they can't drop it. There's some sort of self-deception here with the moon reversed and the magician reversed. Somebody is lying to themselves. 
totally about their feelings because there's feelings here. But now I feel like they're extremely overwhelmed because their feelings are, are just right there. I mean, they're so overwhelming. They cannot be hidden. And I feel like there's, there could be an emotional outburst ahead. Just, just, just saying. I feel like it's because they, somebody wants a reconnection. That's what this is. King of Swords, King of Swords delivers some sort of information. It's very factual. I don't feel like it's good. I don't feel like it's good news though, because of that star reversed and the and the uh, the moon reversed. I feel like it's why. Why? I can't believe it. You know, disbelief. The star reverse. Disbelief. This is not... I can't believe it. That somebody has gone down. You know, they went down. Are they... Mm -hmm. ah. Hangman reverse. Refusing to go in. Struggling to let go. Somebody is obsessed with control. Not learning their lesson. Somebody is fighting their inner selves. They have been fighting their inner selves. They've been hiding something. We have somebody that is highly egotistical that will not change. This person is go got a point to prove. And I feel like they're doing something without thinking. And I feel like it has to do with, uh, I don't know, coming back. Maybe they're coming back to hurt. I don't know what's going on. Um, this person wants to punish that is the truth. The hangman reverse is somebody that cannot let go. This is somebody that cannot let go of of uh, bygones, okay? And they, they need to. So somebody is really struggling. They're struggling to accept. They're struggling to look at things from a new perspective. Uh, they're very, very overwhelmed. It feels like this person is... Uh, know what did that ten of wands reverse that is let go collapse fall down drop that is about freeing yourself somebody has been uh, tied to a mindset that isn't practical they've been lying to themselves there's an opportunity to break free right now. Right now. Very interesting. Somebody has been missing an opportunity for love. Because of their need. This is it. Both of these cards are a need to prove. Both of them. Their need to prove something. Somebody has been missing an opportunity because, or they did miss an opportunity because they needed to prove something. We have Pisces here a couple times. Okay, so we have Pisces. We have Cancer. Because the moon can be represent Cancer as well. We have Gemini a couple times. Um, so I'd say the most prominent signs here are Pisces and Gemini. Um... We do have Aquarius and Libra as well. Anyhow, somebody is about to be broken free or they have an opportunity to break themselves free from something that they have been wasting, you know, a lot of time on. Okay, they've been wasting time trying to prove something. Liberation is coming, put it that way. Um... Get prepared to hear some information that breaks you free from something that was a big burden. It was a big, huge burden for you. You're going to feel relief. Relief is coming, okay? But, I always have to give a but, right? But, it, it feels like it comes with a price because it feels it comes with a loss. I, I, I gotta be honest with you, okay? Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a purpose. 
this truth breaks somebody something yeah somebody free okay from something that they were holding on to that was overwhelming to them it was causing them stress it wasn't making them happy This person delivers the message, delivers the truth. This is about freedom. One more time. Coming back. Somebody's coming back. They are. Get prepared. Get prepared for an arrival. Okay, here's your arrival. This is coming back. Somebody is coming back. They may be coming back for forgiveness. Maybe asking for forgiveness. There could also be some punishment here. I mean, this story, we got thousands of people that watch these. Somebody is coming back. They may have been pretending to be happy. The truth is... <laughs> They're not, and uh, they may have missed an opportunity, but now they're taking it. Now they're taking the opportunity. Get prepared for an arrival. I feel like this could go many different ways. There is somebody that is coming back, and they don't have good intentions as well. Okay, so I think that you, when you get the moon reversed, you've got to be careful. You've got to be really, 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 really careful and ask yourself, you know, uh, is this what you want? There is a chance for a reunion here. I do see that we have somebody here that is very sad. They are extremely depressed. And the, and the magician reverse is somebody that is violent. I mean, that could be an assassin. I'm just being honest with you. I know people don't want to hear that shit, but feel free to look it up. Criminal. So I'm not sure what is going on here, but it looks as though uh, somebody could end up being arrested as well. Whenever I see that, I think of handcuffs. It's like they come back to do something and, uh, you know, they end up getting taken, taken away or whatever. Anyhow, um, there's also a chance for reunion here. So there's an unexpected choice. Somebody is going to be making a choice. Uh, they may be coming back to protect. The King of Swords is a protector. They may be coming back to protect somebody. Anyhow... Get prepared for an arrival. However it resonates with you. Somebody is coming back. They have some sort of idea with the King of Swords. They got some sort of idea or they have some sort of information. I mean, we could keep going all day. Um, somebody is about to take charge of a situation. Um, feelings and emotions are, are over the place. I think that... that Emotions are going to be really, really, really high. There could be some tears that are shed. Um, you may hear news of uh, somebody giving up. Okay, they're giving up a fight and they're leaving and they're going, they're, they're reuniting with somebody else. Whatever the case is, good luck.